come on in, have a seat. Today, we're going to talk about what wig to wear like Thanksgiving. If you're new to this, I know that it's a really scary thing to wear your wig the first time to the family gathering and occasion. And I understand that because I remember the first time I was gonna wear a wig. I was scared to death of what my family would say. Would they laugh at me? Would they love it? Would they <clears throat> just look at me kind of strange and think, mm, what have you done? Well, they're used to me always doing something different my whole life with my hair. But I have to say that it's, it's scary the very first time to a family gathering. You wanna look your best, you wanna look pretty. You don't want to necessarily go with your hair, with hair loss or how you feel uncomfortable. You wanna be pretty for pictures. A lot of times that's the day we're gonna have the family photos, right? And the group photos. And you you wanna look good. This is something people are gonna remember you by. So I, I understand. And so that's what this was about. How do you go? Where, where's your comfort level? So my comfort level is up here, right? Because I've been wearing wigs. I've been wearing lots of different colors. I've gotten used to it. I desensitized myself to how I look, always different when I look in the mirror. Once you do that, and it takes a while, it takes a while, step by step, putting on the wig, wearing it and wearing it until what you see in the mirror, you feel good about. And it takes a while because you're, you're so used to what I'm looking for my, my hair thing. Because look, this is Zeal and Bubblegum Pink. And yes, can you see it? I've had people say in some other videos, I can't, I don't see a bit of pink, but do you see it? It's there. The pink is there. It's kind of a, a pretty uh, platinum blonde with some yellow blonde in it and pink and dark rooting. It's one of my favorites. So this might be what I would wear to Thanksgiving, but. Let's go back to where, where's your comfort? What are you thinking? And I'm gonna put on some different colors and maybe not all of them because I wanna get to the point of what, where I want you to start. If you're new to this, if you haven't been wearing wigs, where should you go and what should you do? And those would be our last couple of ones. So let's just say out of the box, this might be my husband's favorite of all time. And so I might wanna please him and make and let him feel good about what he sees me in. But let's go ahead and try on another one, okay? I'm gonna take this off. And see, I have my pixie, pixie, pixie going. Um, I like to wear a head, hair grip when, you know, I'm worried about what color is gonna show through the part lines. So, good place to start is just a really good wig grip. Wear it snug enough, okay? Don't go too loose or it'll come off. The whole idea is to grab your hair, pull it in tight enough that it doesn't cause you pain. And you'll find that, that level. And then this needs to go up there like that, up near the hairline, right? Okay, let's take a look at something. Say I really wanted to go out there. I might would go with a big time favorite of mine. Lately is this Envy and Rose Gold. Now, isn't that a pretty color for Thanksgiving or for Christmas? Let's try it on. So, I love this. Now, my family is used to this now, seeing me in a different color, depending on the outfit. But what if it's your first time and you're silver like me? And a lot of my followers, I know that you are silver like I am. You're in your 50s, your 60s, your 70s. And this for you, coming out of the box is just, would be too much of a shock. You don't, you, sometimes we don't wanna draw all the attention to us. We don't wanna walk in and everybody go, oh my gosh, what, what is that, right? I understand that, I understand that feeling. I'm past that. They all are used to it. So now they just, they go with roll. They just roll with the punches. I come in and they're like, I love your hair today. Oh, what a great style. Oh, what a great color. Just like y'all comment on it. Y'all aren't looking at it and going, whoa, <clears throat> Mel B. What's with the red? What's with, I wear wigs. So once your family gets used to the fact that, and you acclimate them to that, I wear wigs. I love wigs. They're fashion. People wear a different color lipstick. People wear different color clothes. They wear different colors for fashion, for trends, for feeling different vibes 
every day, right? So it's just a fashion statement for me. And it depends on what fashion I want to pull off. Okay, so this might be way too much. You're new to wigs. So let's take a look at something more towards than a brown. Maybe something that's not too over the top color. Let's try on this Love Way from Gabor. Okay, so this is for if you want all of that volume. Now, this looks not as shiny. I've, there's pictures of me outside, but I do, I am in a, a studio type of setting with lighting that I have. But you can see here, there we go. Gray hairline on this. Okay, so I love this. I think it's great. I think it's fun, trendy, the fibers feel. This is so lightweight. This is like a feather. It's unbelievable. And there's different ways you could wear this, wearing it half up and half down. You could pull it back. A lot of different ways to style a longer wig with lots of hair in it and not just wearing it down. But again, it's a lot of volume. So the first time you're buying a wig and going to a family affair, like Thanksgiving or Christmas, don't go with something maybe with so much volume that that's a shock shock to your to you to see in the mirror or shock to your family okay so but still i want you to get to the point where you wear the red you wear the full volume curls and so so you can enjoy your wig wearing experience now this is another zeal and it is just like the bubble gum i just had right and let's take a look at it this is a sandy silver and so, yeah, see, this is getting more in that line with, I have silver hair, I have gray hair. People know that. They've seen me without wigs on. So this is stepping it to the direction that for people, it's not so much. Isn't that pretty? It's not like a super shock. They're going to see it and just say, I've had, I've worn this one out and about. And on elevators and places and people, women will say, oh, I love your haircut. I love that style. Oh my gosh, where do you get your hair done? You know, wigs.com. That's where I get my hair done. So again, this is great. This is Noriko from Renee of Paris. See how this is getting more that maybe comfort wise, people are going to, you're going to walk in the room and, and people are just going to know your hair is looking great. This is sandy silver. So see how it's a, a brownish and then white in the front. It transitions really pretty, has a lot of definition. This is where you start getting closer to a point. I'm talking about with your family, your mom and dad, your grandkids, your kids, that they're not gonna maybe react so much and you feel more confident stepping in and not eliciting the, oh my goodness, oh my goshes. Okay, and then this is Aesthetica, has always been a big time favorite of mine. And in this icy shadow, I love this. Now I like to wear, wear this out and about. I've worn it with family. This is kind of more, I feel like a rock star in this. I love the silver and I love the curls. I love the length, but remember, Everybody in my family is used to seeing me with very little hair. Now, when I was, you look at some of my videos on the playlist from two years ago when I did makeup, and I could pull off this hair. I had this hair, not quite this thick, but I had this hair in length and platinum and silver. So this isn't a huge shock to, my fa shock to them because they've seen me this over the last couple of years, but they all know now I have the super pixie, right? So maybe this one's too much. And this is where we're gonna get to these two. This is the two. I think if you have silver thin gray hair, you're used to seeing yourself with very low density. This is a nice low density. And this wig is, there we go. This wig is a really pretty silver mix that you can wear in a lot of different ways. I like the fact that I can pull some of it forward like that. Now this one is from Ellen Villa and see how it just sweeps over and has this nice short kind of, let me get the tabs right, Bob, 
This is what I want you to see. It's hard for me to move this. That's how much this wig grip grabs these. Your hair is not going anywhere. I have to really grab the ear tabs to try to move this around. Now this one is hand tied, so you're gonna be able to part it anywhere. You're gonna be able to wear it back off your face. I have it in the playlist, but I'm wanting to show you where you might feel a little more confident that maybe they're, maybe, you know, people don't always remember exactly how we looked the last time they saw us. And maybe they've seen us in longer hair before. And this starts getting closer to the color that I am. And I think that people are used to seeing me in. So this one is um, called Star. Is This one is called Star and it's Silver Mix. And this is a little bit like a long bob. I had a look at my notes because there's so many here. This is Star and this you can see can be swept down in front of your face. You could wear it with even more bangs across it. Whatever looks good on your face, you can make this wig your own. That's what one of the reasons I really like this wig. I like that I could make it with swept bangs across, swoop it across and get more of a pixie like that. So this is a real natural looking wig. If this is, you know, you can see shine on these sometimes. My real silver hair is super shiny. It is super shiny and it's not a wig, right? So uh, don't, when you look at a silver wig and it looks shiny, real good, healthy silver hair looks shiny. And when my bio hair is just fresh and washed without dry shampoo in it, it is super shiny. Okay, so this one is getting to the, where you might feel good about this. Low density, this can really be sleek down. Get your wig now that you wanna be comfortable for for the holiday, for that family gathering, and start wearing it every day. Cause wearing it every day around the house, get up, do your makeup, wash your face, or wash your face, just put it on, right? Put on a little lipstick, put on a little color on your face, and wear it around the house, just wear it. See yourself in the mirror every day. And then by the time the family gathering is there, you're gonna feel really good about wearing it. In fact, you're gonna forget you're wearing it. You're so used to seeing it. You're just assuming everybody. And when you walk into a room comfortable and confident, it makes other people react towards you that way. They're gonna react positive. If you walk in like you're scared and like, and, 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 and you're walking in and saying, oh my gosh, I, you know, do I look weird guys? I mean, does this look strange? I mean, I just got this and oh my gosh, I don't know, what do you think? Don't give people that opportunity. You know, there might always be a naysayer. There might always be somebody that doesn't have your back, right? And family loves us, I know, but they have their own opinions and maybe their opinions are, Oh, Melba, you're just beautiful the way you are, and you don't need a wig. You don't need to have a wig. Well, maybe I don't need it. In my mind, I do need it. I need it for my self-confidence. I need it for what it makes me feel like. And love yourself to stand up for yourself to say, but this is what it makes me feel like. I feel good about it. I feel pretty in it. I feel more confident that people aren't trying to look for all the pink spots, balding spots in my hair. So do you, okay, do you make, do show yourself some self-love, okay? That's what you wanna do. And when you walk in that room and you've been wearing it and you're owning it, people are gonna respond and they go, whoa, I really, wow, you look great today. Okay, so my very last one, and this one is Soft Select, again from Ellen Villa. The, and these caps, you guys, they're so lightweight. Look at that, hand tied. It's just gorgeous. It's so natural. It's so realistic looking. Okay, so this is the shortest pixie I have. And of course, I have a pixie. I have really short hair. And look at this. This is one that I think a lot of you ladies out there, maybe your hair is really short. I've lost a lot of your hair and don't have a lot of hair left. Maybe you're thinking of cutting your hair from longer to a pixie. This is a great way to start. Try it out, get used to it, see how you like it, then go get it cut. And then wake up every day and then put this one on because you wake up and you put it on and you have a perfect hairstyle. No in the bathroom, trying to curl it, trying to style it, going to the hair salon every three weeks, getting it colored or cut, whatever. 
You're going to save money. Ladies, this saves time. This saves money. Who has time during the holidays? You're grocery shopping. You're cooking. You're getting the house ready. You're getting everything prepared to have all the family over. You don't have time. You don't have time to go to the salon and the money and in the day to get your hair looking perfect. So this is what I'm talking about. This because of the length, because of the density, these last two might be where you would want to start. I always say, go with the color when you're beginning and getting out with friends and family and getting used to a wig. Go with what's closest to your bio because this is what you're used to seeing. Then when you look in the mirror, it's going to feel and look more like you. The only thing you have to do is get used to the density because when you're like me and you have no hair hardly on your head, getting used to having hair, seeing it on me, and in the beginning you think, oh, is everybody going to know I'm wearing a wig? Because it looks like a wig to me. Well, because it is a wig, okay? It's not your real hair. But what you do is you begin to see yourself in this way, day after day in the mirror. And I promise you, if you give it time, it might take weeks, it might take months, give it time. Don't be afraid of it. Give yourself the time in your eyes to transition, to detransition from being hardly almost bald, if that's how you are, then like me, then you want to go to the point where you get used to seeing yourself with hair. And you might keep going and you might be wearing the red. You might be wearing the, the bob. You might be wearing the volume. Get there. You can get there. I promise you. When I go out now, now it's more of probably my family are wondering, I wonder what Mel B is showing up in today. Because we know she's always a surprise so do this for yourself get started now get your wig in now and start trying it and wearing it but this is was my point i wanted to transition you from bold of red and long and curly and volume to a silver bob to this and you can see how you'll get to that place where this is the one maybe to wear with your grandkids for the for the family photos that may be around forever and forever, right? You hope so. And this is how you'd want to look more like yourself, closer to you. So I wish you a very happy holidays, and I'm so thankful to have you here. I'm thankful for my wig community. I'm thankful for my wig sisters and friends, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful time this season. Doing my darlings. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.